Yo, what is that? So, my findings so far were using FSR4 on the RDNA3 uh, with the XTX. So, mostly, it's been really good. I mean, I've checked out five games. It was working well, but then I did come across some confusing things. So, as you can see here in Metal Gear Solid, there's a lot of flickering on the ground, a lot of artifacting, which is more like FSR3 not FSR4. So I haven't seen this on the 9070 XT in this game. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed it, but you can see that. So, I mean, I've pretty much figured it out. What it is, is a uh, quality mode seems to be broken in a few games. Now, I only first noticed it in uh, Hell Is Us. So we're going to have a look at that and this game. So all the other games like Stellar Blade, it looked great with quality mode. Final Fantasy seems to look great. Uh, I didn't notice it until these games. So that is something you will ne you will literally need to be aware of. If there's some shimmering going on or something like that, try Balanced. Because I'm finding Balanced actually seems to fix it, which is very weird. And even Performance looks really good. So... That is something you need to be aware of. Uh, RDNA 3 owners and maybe uh, RDNA 2. Because I've heard there's a lot of ghosting and stuff when they're trying to use it. But there's a lot of flickering in the trees and all that. Uh, it looked pretty bad. I mean, I was thinking, yeah, this, this don't look good. Maybe it ain't running that great in every game. But then all I had to do was literally... Uh, <laughs> Just switched to balanced and it literally fixed it so that was very very weird there's a lot of artifacting going on in the trees there's some pixelation on these bandages around his stomach so i've actually played this game snaky it's a very good game uh i mean it's not the best looking game but i definitely didn't notice this to uh i, I mean it's not i mean the graphics it's sort of a mixed bag, but I didn't notice all that shimmering before on the Dual SS4 or FSR4 with the 97 XT. So I knew something was up. And then, because uh, before this game, actually, I noticed it in Hell Is Us with uh, the quality mode looking worse than balanced because there was some flickering on the iron barred doors in the, in the game. But again, I was thinking, well, I haven't literally try this out and this is a problem sometimes i haven't been to that same area when i use the 97 xt using optus gala fsr4 but i was using the official uh, fsr4 for, for adrenaline so now we go to well this is balance mode because they've they cocked it up and they still haven't fixed it so this is so i was on quality mode fsr4 on, on this game which was looking bad and as soon as i went to balanced I mean, you'll see when I get the upscaler menu up. But as soon as I go balanced, it literally uh, cleared everything up. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it is... I don't know it. I don't know why. Oh, don't ask me why it's like this. But uh, it seems to be, if you do see any issues like sh shimmering, maybe some weird stuff where it's clearly not working properly, just try balance mode and there is there was another curveball actually in the black myth so i'm going to be showing that black myth and i'll be showing hell is us just to give people an idea i mean there's definitely going to be some rdna3 users and rdna2 maybe it helped them out so i don't know if it's because it's a uh, it's the RDNA 2 architecture where it's just not going to look great anyway, no matter what you do. But this seems to be the case on RDNA 3 that you will have to, if you see anything bad going on, try balanced mode performance and see if that fixes it. As you can see here, there's a lot of flickering. Look at all that flickering there. I mean, it's literally that bad that, uh, I mean, I couldn't be playing it like that. Definitely not. But a simple change, just a simple change in upscaler to balanced, and then it literally uh, fixes everything. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, so that there is actually no performance mode on there because they mucked it up. It's just native, but uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, 
Hang on a minute, that is 720p. What, so there's no balance mode at all? Yeah, they've just put ultra quality mode. Quality mode, which is balanced on it, and performance, which is actually performance. <laughs> they, they do make you laugh, these uh, developers, they really do. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if native is a balance, I don't know. I didn't even check that because I wasn't even focusing on the uh, the actual resolution. <laughs> anyway. So the next game was Black Myth Wukong. So this is fresh in my mind, this game, because I did have a look at it. And it looked really great on the 97 XT using FSR 4. So when I actually first loaded this game up uh, on DLSS input, so I installed it that way because it's the way I did it before. Uh... So it didn't look anything like it was shimmering so bad. Then I thought, yeah, this looks broken. So I was starting to think, yeah, it's just there's just going to be some games on the RDNA 3 where it's just looking bad and uh, there's not much you can do. But then I just I pretty much figured out that um, if I go to FSR inputs, it looked great, but it just weren't working on DLSS. So as you can see, it's shimmering so badly. It, I mean, it's that bad you can easily see it. But I will zoom in because, just in case any of the Nvidia fanboys watching, they are very sensitive with stuff like that, as we know. So I'll do it. And uh, but then as soon as I change it to FSR in the menu, it does clear up. So that is a uh, that is what you need to do. So. It's still on DLSS, but once I change it, you'll see a dramatic difference. And all the vegetation, all the grass, just literally stops shimmering. So, that seems to be the fix in this game. So, if you come off, literally come across anything bad like that, I would suggest either try and balance or performance mode. And if that don't clear up, just try, say you're on DLSS inputs, try to use that FSR inputs instead so you will have to literally remove OptiScaler again and then install it the FSR way sometimes uh, I mean I can't remember if I did have to do it on this game but if FSR doesn't work in the menu then just sometimes it does work if you use the OSS inputs but sometimes you need to reinstall it but yeah I mean once you know what to expect i mean now i'm gonna know what to do there's a lot of things to figure out because obviously with with the 97 xt usually i mean 99 percent of the time i could use dual ss or fsr if it worked the only difference really very, very rarely was some ghosting and that was it but um i never got bad image quality like that what we're seeing with Black Myth and Metal Gear Solid before, and then the flickering we're about to see in uh, Hell Is Us. Uh, but that was due to the quality mode being broken again. But as long as you can get it working, it's great. I mean, for RDNA 3 users, I mean, you get more performance anyway on the balanced mode or performance, and it still looks great. So, uh, as I said, I'm finding, especially with RDNA 3 as well, well, definitely, <laughs> since quality mode is broken. But I found balance to be so close to quality. It was ridiculous on the FSR 4 on the 97 XT. So on Hell Is Us, there's sh shivering on the floor. Uh, there is... It's just not looking how it did before when I tried it on the 97 XT. And... Uh, I mean, the first thing I noticed as well was uh, the flickering on the cell... Doors like the iron barred doors, so I climb up the ladder. It was a bit more visible up here. So this game was the first thing I noticed something like a bit weird, which I hadn't seen before in this sort of thought. And it was just a simple change to balanced mode instead of quality mode. So that's all it is really. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, once you know what's causing it, the biggest issue was I didn't know why it was doing it uh, on the XTX. But then there's obviously is a beta sort of. I mean, it's been compiled, 
by uh, someone who doesn't work for AMD. So I don't know if uh, the quality modes are just mucked up, but again, it, it looked pretty fine. I mean, it looked exactly the same as it did on the 97 XT on quality mode with Stellar Blade. So I couldn't work it out. I mean, the other games like Final Fantasy 16, it looked great as well. And even Star Wars Outlaws, I did have a look at that on quality mode, and it looked great. So that is, uh, I thought I'd upload this because a lot of people, a lot of our DNA free owners are going to wonder what's going on. But balance mode totally clears up, as you can see, there's no longer any shimmering. So if you see anything like that, just don't use quality mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try balanced performance. If that fixes it, I'll just carry on playing a game like that. Uh, if it's just broken on every setting, like quality, balance and uh, performance and nothing fixes it, then I would just probably try and use uh, the alternative. Like say I'm on DLSS, I would try FSI inputs instead. So I'd remove OptiScale, like, install it again, or just try and use FSR in the menu to see if it works. So, I mean, fortunately on Rebirth, because there's only DLSS in the game, fortunately it looked great anyway. So th there might be an issue where there's no FSR in the game at all and it looks crap. But, um, I mean, it's just great to get on there anyway. And it is a, it's like a beta it's like, uh, it's not an official implementation from AMD. And so far, I've been impressed, to be honest. So, it's been looking great, apart from a few hiccups. So, yeah, that, that is it for me. And the FPS hit, as I've been, I've had no issues with that. It's only been like, it was only like four or five FPS in this game. So, it depends on the game, but it's, I'm getting a healthy FPS, as you can see. And uh, if balance mode looks better than and the image quality, then you're gonna get more FPS. Uh, as long as long as you can get one mode working, FSR four looks great anyway, and it's better than FSR three. So yes, it's definitely a great time for RDNA three owners, and hopefully RDNA two. Hopefully that can sort your issues out as well, but I'm not sure. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.